Hi, pet lovers. Thank you for joining Gina's grooming channel. Today's subject is going to be on sanitary trims. So we're going to have a discussion about it, and then I'm going to demonstrate how to do it. Now we have some demonstration videos already out on our channel dealing with boy parts and girl parts. We kind of split it up that way. But because of some of your comments, we decided to make an actual uh, discussion about it and focus on some of the questions you guys have been asking. And then, of course, give you guys a better demonstration with better lighting, more in-depth uh, uh, filming so that you can really see what's going on under the hood. So let's first start about talking about what a sanitary trim is. Is. Now, most of the groomers out there that I have worked with consider the sanitary trim to be just around the privates and the rear end of the pet. I will tell you that there are some groomers that also include paw pads as part of their sanitary trim, right? They'll also include armpits as part of their sanitary trim. Now, that's probably just more of a, a matter of where you are in the world and how you define things. Um, but I've worked on either coast of the United States. And I will tell you that most groomers that I have worked with consider sanitary to just be the privates and just the rear end. So let's talk about what dogs get sanitary trims. I mean, the easy answer is to say coated dogs. But really, if you think about a coated dog like a husky, they don't necessarily need a sanitary trim. In fact, you normally don't do it. It's really for the dogs that get their haircuts, right? Um, also dogs that get hand stripped like our terriers. So we wanna make sure that anytime you have coat that is growing around privates or the rear end, that we keep that nice and tidy, right? And we're gonna clipper all that excess hair away so that nothing sticks on our pets. So let's talk about some of the definitions of the parts that we're gonna be working with today. Um, so I'm gonna lift Dora up so you can kind of see uh, for our female girls right? The sanitary trim is going to be their private area. So their vulva, uh, one of my first grooming instructors called it the flower. And I kind of ran with that. So for our little girl dogs, we're going to make sure that we trim up around the flower. Now we're also going to be trimming up around the belly. I'm going to lift Dora up here and how high we're going to go is going to be up to the belly button. Now, do dogs have belly buttons? All mammals do. You're going to have to look for it, but it's, a, it's an easier marker. And I'll show you on a boy dog is it's about two fingers above where their penis is. You will see their little belly button. And that's typically where we're going to go and shave with our number 10 and do our sanitary trim. For our boy parts, come here, Dee. Okay, yeah, let's bring you up here. Okay, um, so for our boy parts, I know you guys are happy to see each other, okay? We are gonna be shaving up and above the penis, okay? So that's the privates of the boy parts. And now he doesn't have any testicles, but there are also testicles that we're gonna talk about uh, for dogs that are still intact, uh, male dogs, and how we're supposed to handle that with a sanitary. But we'll get back to Dino when we're on the boy part. Bye, Dino. And then of course, on boys and girls the same, we've got our rear end. So we are going to be shaving all of this right? To make sure that this stays clean. Okay, guys, if you're ready for the demonstration, let's jump in and give little Dora a beautiful sanitary clip. Now, before I zoom in, I want to show you guys some handling techniques of how I'm going to lift Dora up. Just know that if you have special needs dogs, I'm going to show you some techniques to handle special needs dogs that can't stand well on their back legs. But if you've got a healthy young pet, uh, I'm going to show you how you can lift them up and make the sanitary trim easily accessible. Okay, what I'm going to do with my small dogs is I take both front paws, right, and front legs into my arms, and that's where I'm going to plan. I'm going to go up to the belly button. Some people do a square with the sanitary, right? Then I'm also going to clean up down her legs and also going to clean up around her vulva. For special needs pets, you're going to get this done. Sometimes you may need to have someone hold your special need pet and put them on their back like a baby so that you can get all that done. Just make sure you stretch that skin. Make sure uh, nothing is being able to be caught in the clipper. But for special needs dogs that we can handle on the table, we're going to go through this technique, okay, so that we're constantly supporting them. Sometimes you may need to support them also with your other arm if they are very special needs. Okay, let's zoom in and see how it's done. 
All right, so I'm looking at my detail clipper here. It is equipped with my 10. Perfect. And I am going to lift little Dora up just like I showed you. Front paws. And we're going to go and look at that little belly. So I'm going to take care of the belly first. I'm going to go up the belly in this direction. Then I'm going to flip my clippers and go down the legs. And if she doesn't have a skirt, I can be a little more digging into this little area by her tuck up. Okay, now I'm gonna go and check out the inner of inside of those legs. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is lift up her little leg and see what we're working with in here. Okay, see, there's a little discoloration and then we're gonna go down the side of the legs. But we're gonna clean up that little flower. Okay, with my 10 still coming in from the side. You may encounter little mats. So just be careful of that. I'm just gently flicking and I'm gonna go down the legs a little bit, making sure not to get this back hair on the back of her legs. Okay, let's see how that looks when I lift her up. All right, guys, now I'm gonna to go to her rear end. Um, and now I wanna show you guys kind of a trick. One of the things you'll see when you start doing sanitaries is if you just lift up a tail, a dog usually will like to sit down. Dora's a very good girl and she's very used to this, so she's not sitting down, but be prepared for that. They just kind of just plop down the moment you pull up their tail, kind of like that. They just don't like that, right? I wouldn't like it either. So I wanna show you this little technique is with my non-dominant arm. I'm gonna tuck it all the way under her belly, okay? And then I'm taking her tail with my hand and that way I can see what I'm working with. And I'm gonna show you this before I zoom in is that I'm gonna go up the tail. I don't wanna go down. For some reason that's very irritating with, uh, that's going against the grain. So I'm gonna go up before I turn on the clipper to show you the direction. I'm gonna go side to side. And if there's anything matting or any kind of problems in this area, I may flick it off with uh, the number 10 with my clipper, but really just focusing right there around the anus, not trying not to touch the anus with the clipper. All right, guys, let's zoom in and see how it's done. And guys, a quick note about the rear sanitary. Very commonly, pets have matting at the base of their tail here. If you're doing a sanitary, it's very painful to demat that area. Don't hesitate to clipper up that tail with that 10. Of course, obviously you wanna make it as conservative as possible, but this is, will not show, it will also help keep it not matted if you go even a little higher on the tail. So if you need to, don't be afraid to do that. Well, thank you, Miss Dora, very much. Let's put her down. Let's get Dino on the table so you can see how to do this for a boy. All right, guys, well, we got Dino on the table. And the cool part is, is not only is he a male version that we can show you the sanitary, he's also a furrier version. So you can kind of see how I have to be a little more conservative as I'm going around the sides of the sanitary uh, to make sure that I don't cut into his coat and change his look. And with our boys, same with our girls, obviously we're gonna lift them up for our big dogs. Sometimes I put their paws on my shoulders, um, but we're gonna lift them up, check out what's under the hood, get that taken care of for special needs dogs. And for our boys, we can do, do all this work over here. And this is where we're also gonna focus on the pets that have testicles. Okay, let's zoom in and check out what's going on under there. Okay, just like we did with Dora, we're gonna lift up those front paws. Okay, 
Now, because he's hairy, I'm going to kind of move some of this coat. And we're going up to the belly button, which is two fingers above the peepee, -pee, the penis. So let's go ahead and start shaving. Good boy. If they start getting a little antsy, you can lift them down and then lift them up again. And let's see what we're working with. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. All right, let's go to the side. Okay. We're going to go lift up and we're going to check out our work. See what's going on under there. And then I'm going to go down those sides of those legs like I did with Dora. And then I'm going to save that little area where his testicles used to be. Okay. For a little discussion. So guys, in terms of testicles and dogs with their testicles, uh, dogs that have coats and have their testicles, it's kind of a stylistic choice uh, by the groomer. Um, I like to leave some fur around the testicles, make sure that there is no matting uh, around them. Uh, but I have worked with groomers that like to shave all the coat off of the testicles. So really it's a personal decision. Um, or if you're working with a client, you can ask them what they prefer. Um, I like to have them a little more hidden behind fur if possible, but just let you know that there's really no way to do it. Uh, some people shave them all off, some people leave a little fur. Now Dino doesn't have his testicles anymore, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't collect coat in the area um, where his testicles used to be. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I handle that, just knowing that if he had testicles, I would just gently be going around them, making sure that I flick and remove any coat that I wanna remove. Um, but in this case, there are no testicles, but I still want to make sure that that doesn't get matted. Okay, so I'm going to lift his leg up. Let's take a look at where that spot is. I'm going to lift his tail so you can kind of see there's coat right here um, where his testicles used to be. And what I'm going to do with that 10, very conservatively, just take it down just a little bit. So that it doesn't mat. Okay, so let's lift Dino up, see what everything looks like down there. And of course, for Dino, his rear end is going to be exactly the same, making sure that I keep that tail lifted up, and I'm going to clip her out. Anything that is possible to catch any fecal matter. Nice and clean. Well, all right, guys, I hope that gives you a little more insight and a better demonstration on how to do a sanitary for your male or your female dogs out there. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to put them down below. We really appreciate cl you clicking that thumbs up. If you like this video, thank you for subscribing. We will see you soon.